we're going to look at finding angles with the cast rule. These are for questions where you're given some ratio, like I'm showing you an example A and B, or potentially some decimal, like an example C, and you have to use either your special triangles to find out um, the and the cast rule to find out what the two potential angles are for these ratios. So we'll start off with the first one, 1 over root 2. We want to find what the related angle is to this ratio, and we look at our special triangles to determine that. Knowing that the cosine ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse, I look at this triangle here and try and figure out what angle would I use as the focus angle if I wanted the adjacent to be over the hypotenuse, and that angle is 45 degrees. So I make a little note of that. That's my related angle. Now I look at this ratio, and based on the fact that it's positive or negative, it helps me use the cast rule to determine what two quadrants my two potential angles are going to be in. So this ratio is positive, so I look to my cast rule and find out what two quadrants is cosine positive in. Well, number one and four, because this is all of them, and this is also where cosine is. So quad 1 and quad 4. And then I just, you know, do a little bit of work to come up with those angles. In quad 1, the angle is obviously between 0 and 90 degrees, so it is 45. In quad 4, the angle is between 270 and 360 degrees. So I know that I'm always working from the 360, so I take 360 minus what my focus angle is, and I come up with 315. So my two values for A are 45 or 315. Next example, 10A equals negative of root 3. I know my negative kind of fell into the root there. We focus just on the root 3 and the fact that the tan ratio is opposite over adjacent. So I look at my special triangle and figure out what angle would I have to have as my focus to make root 3 the opposite side. Well, that would be angle 60. Root 3, opposite, over adjacent of 1. 60 is my related angle. Then I look at the positive or negative, and that helps me determine what two quadrants it's in. So a negative up here indicates that this angle is potentially in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4. In quadrant 2, I know that my angle is going to be between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Since I'm always working from the horizontal, angle A is 180 minus my focus, minus 60, which gives me 120 degrees. In quadrant 4, it's 360 minus 60, which is 300. So my two potential values for A are 120 degrees and 300 degrees. And if I was to take these two values and substitute them in for A and find the tan of that, that value, that decimal, will equal negative root 3. That would be a quick little check in your calculator. Now the last one doesn't have anything to do with the two special triangles. It's the cosine of this just random, you know, decimal number. So to figure out the related angle, I just take the cos inverse in my calculator of that number. And I find that the related angle is 75 degrees. Then again, I look at my positive or negative to help me determine what quadrants this is in. So a negative of cosine means that this angle is in quadrant 2 and 4. Make a little note of that. And then, because I know in quadrant 2 it's going to be less than the 180, I take 180 minus 75, 
then I get 105 degrees. And in quadrant, I wrote down quadrant 3. Sorry guys, I meant quadrant 3, not quadrant 4 that I had written there. Okay, quadrant 3, I know that it's greater than 180 degrees, but less than 270. I work from that horizontal, so A is 180 plus 75, and I'm running out of space here, is 255 degrees. So the two potential values of A are 105 and 255. And that's everything.